So my name is Robert Rivas. I am uh, currently serving as Speaker of the California State Assembly, uh, and I represent the 29th Assembly District, which is in the central coast of California, um, parts of Monterey County, the Salinas Valley, my home in San Benito County, the southern part of Santa Clara County and Santa Cruz County. It's really a, a rural agricultural uh, region of our state. Okay, and how do you see your role advocating in the Latino company in relation to the Cesar Chavez Foundation? Well, you know, it's an honor to be here, and, and you know, this recognition really is incredibly humbling, um, and it, it is a you know a tremendous honor for me and my family. I was raised in a very loving household by immigrant farm workers, and so if you would have asked me as a child, uh, growing up in, in a farm worker labor camp, farm worker housing with you know, eight members of my family, I would not have thought <laughs> that I would be here. I would not have thought I would be, you know, serving as Speaker of the California State Assembly. Uh, but that's how far we have come um, in this incredible state uh, where a farm worker, my grandfather, immigrated here because he was in pursuit of a better life for he and his family. Um, and this is exactly why he came here, so that way we could have opportunity. He always reminded us that, you know, Cesar Chavez always said it best is, is he was a very active uh, UFW member, how organized his workforce. He took a lot of risk. Uh, to ensure that he had better working conditions for he and his fellow workers. Okay. But my grandfather always put things into perspective for my brother and I and said, you know, the struggle, the, the, the fight in the 60s and 70s with Cesar Chavez was not about lettuce and grapes, it's about people. Yeah. Um, it's always about people. Yeah. And, and so for us, you know, having the opportunity to serve as speaker and serve in the state legislature is, um, you know, being here is always just a reminder of that legacy, of that work and how we have to ensure that it continues. So, you know, ensure that we're fighting for our most vulnerable, fighting for our, our, our farm workers, and showing that they have, you know, decent housing, dignified housing, that they have access to, 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 to vital public services and health care and, and access to nutritious food. So That's great. I'm excited to do my part, but yeah. we have a lot more work to do. That's good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And thank you for speaking in the Magazine. Thanks so much, man. All right, thank have you. a great evening. Yeah.